Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we support ourselves on our homestead. decided that jobs and going away to work is not something we want to do. It's not suitable for our lifestyle um, and we really like to be around our family. We homeschool so going away to work isn't an option and usually the woman will stay home and the man will go to work but that really wasn't an option for us either because we liked to all be together and it's not fair for day to have to go to work and me to just stay home. So we worked out a way that we could bring in money without working. There are so many ways to do this. Money is out there, you just need to find a way to bring it to you. And you have so many skills that you personally can do and so many different things that you can do. But I do want to tell you what works us best for us and then maybe you can get some ideas from that. So our main source of income is our Etsy stores and it's a platform, an online platform to sell all of your handmade goods. So I started selling on Etsy nine years ago and I started selling out selling um, handmade jewelry with beads and necklaces and earrings and bracelets and I really enjoy doing that but there wasn't really a market for it because it's been done and done and done and it's keep being done so it's really hard to get into that and be successful. So I had to change what I was doing and I decided to do hand stamp jewelry. That is kind of like little metal pendants that I hand stamp with the hammer and the letter or the number or the picture. It can be very personalized. So it's really a great alternative for someone who wants something with their name on it or a date or something really personal as a gift that they can't go to the store and get. They have to go to an actual person who's gonna make it for them. So that was something that I knew nothing about when I went into the business, but YouTube, you can learn anything, right? So I learned how to do my entire business on YouTube and you know, reading and trying, really. Experimentation, it took me a little while to get everything working smoothly, but now I run a business that I alone run and it works great it's enough to support us we can't you know go on lavish vacations or buy lots of things which we don't do at all but it gives us enough to get by and we're living comfortably especially here in the yurt without any heating bills or electric bills so uh, when day met me he was kind of slaving away and we, I showed him my Etsy store and what could happen and he decided to make his own Etsy store as well. So his is more wood related, uh, but still the personalization and he does wood burning and his skill has gotten tremendous over the years. Um, I'll send, I'll show some pictures and the links. So another way we support ourselves, even though it is small, every little thing adds up is YouTube. So if you want to help us, you can subscribe, watch our videos, share them to other people so they watch our videos, and we do get a tiny little kickback. If you have any questions on that, I can help you out. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I love helping people set up YouTube accounts. I love helping people set up Etsy stores because they really are um, freedom. So 
Another way to make income for us is a farm stand, which we did our first year. We didn't sell a lot, but we didn't really try that hard. It was our first year and we were just getting going. Last year we didn't even set up a farm stand, so we didn't make any money then. But it is in our future. So it isn't a, a income we have right now, but it is income that I can see that we will have in the future if we want it. We're only getting better in our gardening. We're only making our garden better, bigger, so we'll have more time And now that we're living here and we'll be able to get a good farm stand going. I think um, the people in our area are looking for some organic local food, so I think we have a market for it. Um, along the same lines as the farm stand, we also have other incomes in the future. They're not right now, but they are in the future. So we think someday we'll be able to put our yurt up on Airbnb or Home Away or one of those rental sites and someone like you could come and rent our yurt out for the weekend and see what it really is like to live on a homestead where you have to pump your water and you have to be responsible for the wood stove if you come in the winter and you maybe even help take care of the animals while you're here. So get like a real good feeling of what it would feel like, be like to be on a homestead before you wanna maybe take that leap. So that's in the future, as well as possibly doing some learning seminars. Um, people wanna learn how to live like this. People want to learn how we did this. People want to learn about gardening organically and growing mushrooms and doing all these things. And we would really love to give that information. So that could also be an income for us. We wouldn't charge you know, a tremendous amount, but we would need to get some kind of kickback. And we have other ideas, um, possibly the kids starting their YouTube channels to that, get them started with some money. And possibly setting up some kind of homeschool group that would meet once a week here that people could pay a little bit for and um, do you know various things around the farm as well as check out the yurt. So this lifestyle I feel like even though we are not focused on money and we do not need money and we do not want money, um, there is money in it. You know there are ways to make money. This is an interesting topic People are learning, leaning towards this lifestyle more and more, and people want to know how to do it. So I'm more than willing to teach it. One last thing on how we make money is to not spend money. So if you don't spend the money, you still have it. So we don't go shopping. There, except for food shopping. We only buy the things that we really think we need. They're necessary for our lifestyle. The kids, we buy all the kids clothes at consignment shops, so we sell everything and then we buy everything and we pretty much make 50 bucks every single time we go to the consignment sales. So I'm not spending money on the children. They don't feel like they're missing out at all. They have plenty of other family that give them things and um, people that don't mind spending their money, I guess. So food is a huge expense. That's like our hugest, our biggest expense. And that's why we want to make our garden huge and can and preserve and take down one of our huge money drainers. So, that's how we make money on the homestead. There are so many more options out there. So find your own path, find what could make money for you, what skill you have, what you could teach. The possibilities are endless. So, good luck. Uh, I hope that you can quit your nine to five because it's not worth your life. And Feel free to watch any of our other videos on our whole adventure here. Really, we started from scratch with episode one, 
We're, I'm now on episode 28 right now, so there's a lot that we've covered. I tried to do a video every couple weeks just to show the progress of what it is like to get to this spot, to get to where we are, and it's a good adventure. So check it out, and check out our Etsy stores if you're interested too. Thanks for watching. Sorry I didn't dress up for you. Peace.